ano, magandang question niya from uh, Mr. Barry Villore. So most UP students are known to have big uh, revolutionary dreams uh, with them wanting to change the system. It's the same case with Lisa's, char Lisa's character, uh, who graduates art studies seeking to be a museum director, then she changes her years along the way as a corporate professional. So um, maybe you have a, a symbolism behind this, and um, as you nature, can you also narrate your own uh, own experience as once a UP student, and how did this journey influence your storytelling uh, with this film? Um. From coming, parang bi, habang sinusulat ko kasi yung kwento, parang binalikan ko yung time ko as a, as a student, as a college student, na feeling ko pinagdadaanan ng halos lahat naman in college na when, when you're in college, you feel like you can change the world. Parang you're invincible when you graduate. Uh, papalitan, papalitan ko yung sistema, hindi ako papalamang sa sistema, gagawin ko yung tama, ganun. But, um... We find that college grads, uh, fresh grads, become the solution when they face the real world. So, yun yung pinatakal ng movie. They are in that period of their lives. Na bumabalik balik sila sa time na when they were in college. Not just not just UP, but college in general. Na ibang iba yung ibang iba ka ng college ka sa kung ano ka na ngayon. Ibang iba yung kung sino yung taong pinangarap mong maging dun sa taong naging ikaw. So, paano mo ma-relate yun sa pag-change or pag-evolve ng storytelling mo from like your first movie to this movie? Um, my first my first few movies, my first movie was an independent film, a mockumentary. Tapos yung mga next film ko were love stories, uh, may comedy. But before, nung kaka-start ko pa lang, I would make movies na gusto, parang gusto ko siyang gawin, kasi gusto kong gawin yung kwento na yun. Parang it was more, being self-expression or being selfish in a sense. Pero this is my 10th movie and parang through the course of the 10 years, parang medyo na-realize ko na um, cinema is a powerful medium na I was given this chance to tell a story. So I was given a chance to tell love stories before and now I want to make a story, a love story, na more than just a love story. Na Yon, to, to take that challenge na um, they will watch a movie and spend 250 pesos not just and come out of the theater kilek and happy and um, umiyak or nasaktan but also something more than that those feelings also and for now uh, for Liza and Enrique yes sir so ano yung, um, I guess you also had your share of disillusionment uh, sa, well, I guess dito hindi you know, from school, from your career na lang, so you can relate it to your own personal careers. Um, you know, how how can you relate the no, yung experience, uh, personal experiences niyo to the experiences of your character in the film? Um, um, well, at first, I really didn't want to be an artista. Uh, when my dad would ask me before, I really loved basketball, so I really wanted to play basketball. <laughs> so that was heartbroken. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I mean, I became an artista and I love my job. And uh, you know, if I didn't really get into this industry, I wouldn't really know how beautiful and how amazing this job is. So, um, eh, both ways. Eh. Uh, in, in kind of to my character, sa movie, I really haven't experienced much like um, like Raph. Uh, one thing I didn't finish college. I only went for one sem. But I have this best friend, which his name is Raph. And he already saw the first interview. <laughs> and sinabi ko na whatever yung pinagdadali ni Raph dito sa story nito, sabi it's exactly like him. Pati yung pangalan Raph din. So sabi bro, nung binabasa si bro, ikaw to. <laughs> so uh, dun ako na relate sa mga kanto niya sa akin. Ako naman po. I, I didn't want to be an artist also. <laughs> no, I was really shy before. Tapos parang hindi ko lang nakikita yung sarili ko in this line of business. Um, I wanted to be <clears throat> I wanted to be a lawyer for some sorry <clears throat> for some time. But I, I, I always knew I wanted to work with people. That's all I knew. Um, but now I want to be a, a, a psychologist. Pero 
right now I'm an artista. So, but I'm also studying on the side. So, parang when the time comes, I want to like fully focus on being a psychologist, maybe, or um, write some books about it. I don't know, something like that. Um, in line with Christine, naman, parang. I think I can relate to her a bit because there are dreams that I have na hanggang ngayon hindi ko pa rin natutupad. But I'm still working on it because I'm not dead yet, so my chance will <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jeffrey Dalago. Okay, next question. Please take your name, affiliation. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm uh, from Manila Street. My question is for Liz Ken. Uh, just like your characters, si Tin and Ralph, dun sa movie, marami silang what if. In real life ba, may mga what if din kayo? At ano yun? Ako, um, I always ask myself, what if I didn't come to the Philippines? Kasi yun lang naman yung parang naging reason. Kung, ay, yun yung naging parang way for me to become Liza. Because I was, my real name's Hope. So like sometimes I think about because I have a lot of family in the states and sometimes parang nanghihinayo ako because I'm not as close to them as I want to be and no matter how I try parang since there's been a lot of time that passed already I know that we're never going to be at that same level of closeness that I have with my brother that's here with me so parang inisip ko what if I just stayed behind na lang what would I be able to help them? Like, parang would it have been okay na ando na ko, pero I might not have like um, the resources to help them out financially or in other ways. Or was it better that I came here na lang? At least I can help them even though I'm far. Parang ganun. Uh, ako same. Uh, after my dad passed away, uh, my mom really wanted to bring us to Europe na kasi mag na lang siya and we get really good benefits in Spain. So, my, my kuya siya dapat mauna, but he really didn't want to go sa my girlfriend siya, and sabi ako yung next. Pero nakapasa ko sa EBS nun, so parang things started to change. So yun, yun lang. And uh, also, on the movie, may mga changes. It talks about uh, changes or evolution. Yeah. Um, how would you describe Enrique five years ago, and paano na siya ngayon? And same with you, Ken. Paano si Liza, five years ago? Ano yung mga nakita mong changes sa kanya? Um, she wants to do more. Um, she's still a, a dreamer. I think she even has the even more drive now. No, five years ago. Kung ano ako five years ago. Yeah, I'm just saying from ah, before to now. now. She must may drive siya ngayon. Maybe because um, <clears throat> she feels more confident. Maybe from uh, being uh, not really... Liza Sobrano to becoming Liza Sobrano, you know, so I think it also got her out of her shell that she wants to do more and help more and that's a beautiful thing because if not So yeah, I believe in hope uh, and every little thing Your fans is asking, uh, kung gaano nga kayo ka-mature na dito sa movie Mature in the uh, sense na mayroon bang mga kissing scenes dun sa movie and paano uh, niya yung pinaghandaan? I think mature in the sense of um, experience in life, um, the the ups and downs that they went through. That's what made them mature. Kaya sinasabi namin it's a more mature, a mature role. Yeah, I can't explain it any further than that. Uh, yeah. Uh, to direct, anything you would like to add? Um, feeling ko kasi pag sinasabi mature, parang automatic, parang may kissing scene, may bed scene, <laughs> may sex sila, naglalamp nalampungan. Pero, they're mature here in a sense na their problems are more than just having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So, they're, yun, parang they have adult problems. That's what makes them mature. So, Sa maturity, mature talaga sila. Kasi, ayun, uh, from yung, yung pinagdaanan ng character nila from college to being working professionals. Eh. Eh, in real life, pag galing college to work, being a working professional from 
babagsak ba ako, makakauno ba ako, makakakwatro ba ako to anong mga problema na traffic sa EDSA, paano babayaran yung renta ko, kapag may anak, anong, pap, anong papakain ko. Parang ganong kind of maturity yung lumabas sa pelikula. And direct, after watching the movie, what is the message you, you would like to convey sa audience mo? Um, Wag mong isipin who I was. Isipin mo <laughs> who I should be. Uh, 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 Pwede mo yung direct? <laughs> Naalala mo pa. Perfect. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chad.